Eamon McEnany is waiting patiently in the wings. Good morning, all. Hello, Eamon. Good morning, yeah. Eamon. Good morning. Morning, Mary. Good morning, Your listeners. last day yeah, of the virtual tours. This is the last day, yes, of, of yes, that's right, of reflecting back on the past and looking forward to the future now. Yeah. Yeah. Bright new future, hopefully, for Waterford as we reinvent ourselves once again. Exactly. Okay, as we have many times in history, yeah. And, and um, you have I'm a very... talking to you about the... Yeah. Sorry, I mean, just to yeah, say, yeah. very strong social media presence, Waterford Treasures on Facebook and Twitter. So if people keep an eye on that, there'll be updates and everything that's yeah, happening, I'm the, sure. Yeah, the updates, yeah, Great yeah. And we're, we'll be opening the Mediven Museum on the 29th, so... Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Um, Now, the semi-lunar tower at the r- uh, rear of St. Stephen's Boys' School and the beach tower in Jenkins Lane. Yeah, Rain. that's correct, yeah. Yeah, I went to school in Stephen Street, so I'm very familiar with that tower. And, and one of the lovely things about the double, the, the tower there, uh, the back at St. Stephen's School, is the fact that the Dallas had School there. The Dallas had Brothers keep a lovely garden there, a big long strip of grass and it's quite wide so you're actually looking at a piece of town wall as it would have looked at like 500 years ago in the 1500s when it was built and, and the tower so it's, it's very interesting wow. in, in that se- in that sense do you know that you're, you're getting mm. the, the natural setting of it. of it yeah and remember like the mayor's walk which backs onto it but there's that nice garden I said between it and the mayor's walk the mayor's walk of course was outside the city what we call the mayor's walk and the garden barracks was outside the city so if you continue then along Stephen Street or from uh, come out that, that wall you can see it if you stand at the top of Patrick Street and you look in in behind the school there you can see the tower fine big tower there again built high enough to archers to be able to defend the city and then you go the other direction down by the Garda station behind the Garda station and down the st- down towards the Stony Steps and, and turn in, in, into Carrigeen Lane there um, Carrigeen being the, the, the little rock of course is the beach tower which was built on a rock and again it's it's, it's much di- very different from all the other towers in the city because it was built on a rock you enter it at the very top not at the bottom of course again you enter it from inside the town wall at the very top and there's great work done on that uh there was great work done on that a few years ago by Watford Civic Trust when Patrick, the late Patrick Griff, a great man, was, was, was chairman. And I know Des Griffin and myself went scouring the land and the farmers' fields and all for big stones to put lintels in there. <laughs> because, um, <laughs> and basically what happened was Hearn's factory back uh, all year, back in the last century, had, early last century, had put, had a fire uh, and the, the fire people told them to put um, a big water tank on top. So they knocked off the top and made a big hole up through the centre. But in fairness to a great, great archaeologist, Ben Murthy, he, he reconstructed uh, again luckily half of what he, they knocked was still left so you just had to mirror that half but it was, it was a great war President Mary Robinson opened it so it was, it was nice for me to have a few, a few moments of reflection with the, with, with the uh, people of Waterford City sure. and County and, and Bardens and luckily I suppose most of us um, had that opportunity to reflect I know the poor healthcare workers and the carers probably didn't have it didn't obviously have that but I suppose Waterford now is going to look forward to a bright future Absolutely. as we reinvent yeah, exactly. ourselves as we have done many times in the past yeah. Just before we Thank let you go I want to read this one final text because I think it sums up how a lot of people have felt. Going to miss all the fabulous, interesting snippets of our local history. Looking forward to being a tourist in our fabulous city when all the museums open. And that comes in from Suzanne and Ballygunner. Eamon, thank you so now much. That's lovely. Everything. And I hope the people of Water will be ambassadors for the museum going into the future. Thank Absolutely. You. Thanks a million you, it's for been everything. a pleasure, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.